Hey everybody, welcome back. James here again with you. Thanks for tuning in. And in this video, I'm going to share with you one of the most accurate pellets. And I mean untouchable, un unbelievably accurate through my Air Venturi Avenger 22 caliber. As you see here, I got my own O-ring delete on there. Factory still, like right out of the box as you would get it besides the Pro O-ring. And another thing that I use is the CARM magazines. So what pellet is it? Well, believe it or not, it's the same pellet that I said right out of the box that matches the rifling when I got this about a year ago, a little over a year ago. And it's unbelievable on how well this gun, when it's set up correctly, groups at 50 yards with these pellets, which are the JSB FX 1589 552 head sized pellets. This gun shoots these pellets insane once you get it tuned in, of course, again. And, you know, even though my settings and, and such are not relevant to everybody's guns, it is set at around 1700 PSI on the regulator. And then I vary the hammer spring depending on how cold it is and below 32 degrees outside because this pellet works so well in the colder weather. Not that it doesn't work well in warmer temperatures, but I found to be this to be the most accurate pellet, the 1589s, in the colder temps below the freezing point of 32 degrees. And my hammer spring ranges, depending again on how cold it is outside, between two to three turns and the velocity is between you know 8 830 to 890 depending on how much i really want to crank it up and go out in long range and depends on how cold it is again if the air is super dense you need those extra rpms the higher velocity to cut through the air and shorter pellet the longer pellets i can't they do, they do not do well in the colder temps like this and what do i mean by do well well the thing is, guys, everybody's definition of shooting good is different. For some odd reason, I understand everybody's goal is different with their own rifle. I get it. But mine is that I want to get this gun to group as tight as possible, you know, at 50 yards. And that way I could take my assessment and start shooting at farther ranges, which I'll share with you some shooting clips at farther ranges than 50 yards because of how well I got this set up. And what I mean by that is how well do I have this gun tuned is that I do not have to account for the windage. I just, again, hold over my target. And I know that really gets a lot of people going for some odd reason. They can't comprehend how well I got my gun tuned. That's not my problem, unfortunately. That's their gun's problem and them tuning their guns, but not me. And obviously, you know, they bring up shooters in the comments of my video, other shooters. But those guys know I'm experienced. That's what's funny about it. Everybody wants to talk about these other guys winning competitions and such. They also know who I am. Or they not, may not know me, but they know of me. And know how well I, I can shoot. So that's the funny part. But anyways. What I mean by good for me. Is that my gun can put five shots almost in the same hole once I get the regulator set. You know, again, from being set outside, getting the air pressure, air temperature all equal, I can get five almost in the same hole. And it's consistent. So it's a between, when measured, it's between about eighth of an inch, as you can see there, the first shots to reset the reg, five shots. It's about an eighth of an inch to three sixteenths of an inch on average, five shots in this temperature, in this weather, everything. And to me, that is superb. That's all I really need. And again, I make sure that the pellet is flying directly in line with my vertical on my crosshair. And, you know, I have some shots I'm about to show you guys that are insane. And I mean it. So first off, I want to start off and tell you guys what challenge that I accepted or I took on and that was shooter 1721's pencil challenge standing freehand all the following clips I'm about to show you are freehanded because I you know obviously want to challenge myself and again with these pellets that I found to be the most accurate right now like I said 
you know, different temperatures change different things, whether it's air density, how well the gun's shooting, all this and that. You know, when it comes spring and summertime, it'll be a different pellet, like the H&N 18s. You guys seen that video? Warmer weather, they shoot phenomenal. But anyways, back on the Shooter 1721 pencil challenge, I did all my shots I'm about to show you guys standing, free-handed, and I wanted to do it back to back. And what I mean was, I set up two pencils downrange at 75 yards and shot them back to back. No joke, guys. I could not believe it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that now. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you me hitting playing cards at that distance back to back. Two playing cards. Check it out. Shooter 1721 pencil challenge. Two pencils back to back. One down. Two down. Woo! Back to back, baby. Now you've seen that I just used holdover. The way the gun is set up, it shoots perfectly. I mean, I can't explain it any better. And... <laughs> After that, I took it even step further, guys. I keep challenging myself. So what I did was I actually took the pencil and set it out to 100 yards and hit it and shared it on Facebook also. So all these clips, a lot of you might have seen already on Facebook that I share on the Air Venturi Association Shooters page. But, you know, I cannot believe just how accurate that these JSBs are getting sw swadged up and matching the rifling of the barrel in this colder temperature. So I usually don't shoot in this cold temp very often, but it's really fun. So let me show you 100 yards now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Woo! 100 yards. So you've seen that, that is just awesome. Uh, 100 yards, hitting the pencil back to back. Like, you gotta be kidding me, right? Standing, free-handed, it can't get much easier than that. So now I'm gonna set up a pencil at 150 and show you if I can hit it. As you've seen there, I hit it, and then now I'm going to really challenge myself, guys. No joke. I set up a pencil at 200 yards and hit it. Check this out.
Hit it. 200 yards. So as you've seen all these amazing shots, standard free-handed, you know, back-to-back -back shooting, I'm always challenging myself. You know, I that was a fun challenge that Rick had there with the pencils. But I knew I could do it because I've already shot playing cards at that distance and beyond. So the farthest I've ever hit a playing card was 200 yards. And again, I know this really gets people's panties in a bunch that I do not have to hold for wind, but I don't. It's either one, the scope mounting and leveling is not correct. Number two, your tune is not right because if your pellets are veering, I don't know what to tell you guys. I've already showed you how to do it. I showed you how I level my guns, how I set them up. I mean, there isn't really much more to tell you. It's just shooting. But anyways, I wanted to share with you right now what I think the best pellet is for my Air Venturi 22. Now, is there other pellets that shoot in it? Of course, but I am a precision shooter. I do trick shots. You know, uh, I cannot give myself too much wiggle room when it comes to groups like that because that's repetitiveness. You know, if the group is not tight enough at 50 yards for me, that pellet is not good enough for what I can do or what I have to do for a video or certain purposes. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate it as always and I hope to see you on the next one.